That is the new DJI Osmo Pocket. Hey guys, so this room looks a lot different. Uh, I painted it. Uh, I'm also like redoing a whole bunch of stuff, changing some things around. It'll be done soon. I'm waiting on some artwork to go on the wall that I made. That's why this room looks quite a bit different right now. But this video is not about this room. This video is about this stupid gimbal that I just got. Okay, and I say stupid gimbal because I didn't actually want this. I did at, a, at one time, and so here's the story. I ordered this uh, like weeks and weeks ago. Pre-ordered it off Amazon. It was shipped from some camera store. Their return policy is terrible. It's like seven days and you have to pay return shipping. I canceled the order like a few days ago before this product even came out, before the launch date, I canceled it. And within hours of canceling it, this company, which I'm not gonna say the name, created a shipping label for this. Emailed me back and said, sorry, we can't cancel this item, it's already been shipped. Obviously I knew it hadn't been shipped because it hadn't even come out yet. Its release date was several days later. So we emailed back and forth and I was not happy. I emailed them and I said, I don't wanna pay return shipping for this in case I don't want it. And they emailed back and they said, well then just refuse the delivery. And of course, this one came when I was not home. So I couldn't refuse the delivery. So instead of freaking out about it, I guess I'm just gonna open it and use it, review it, tell you guys how it is, and then ship it back because I don't think this thing is gonna be very good. Hopefully I'm wrong. Oh, there it is. It's pretty small. If this company doesn't accept this back, I'd be pissed. Maybe there's a way I can open it. Like, without really, whoops. Slice. Okay, so information, I don't know, because that's in like Chinese. Ooh, here it is. All right, wow. Okay. This is pretty tiny. This is, this is really small. And then there's this little carrying case, I guess. Some stuff, some instructions. This is like the lightning connector. USB-C charging, a little lanyard. One thing that everyone talks about is how bad the microphone is. See this on the bottom? Oh my gosh. That will be horrible. Well, oh, quite a big difference. <laughs> um, so if this can do what I need it to do and like go in a pocket, like it's like it's advertised as DJI Osmo Pocket and not get destroyed, then maybe It'll be good, but, okay. Nice, check it out. Just turned on. It says device not activated. So you can't do anything on the screen right now. It just says device not activated. Connect to DJ Mimo. DJI, DJI Mimo. <laughs> I don't know, this is probably going back in favor of keeping my Hero 5. Anyway, I'm gonna sit on it for a minute. I don't know if I'm gonna do anything else with this. I don't know if I'm gonna activate it. Tomorrow is Ginger Moss. I was really wanting to have this new toy to play with. Well, thanks for watching. This was a terrible video. <laughs> okay, so. I've decided that I'm gonna take this thing out on a run. Against my better judgment, the biggest thing I don't like about this is that the SD card slot is right there. There. But it's just like open. So it's probably not gonna be, I mean, it's, I'm gonna have to like tape this shut if I ever want to like be out in the summer with it. Running with this will be so much better than, I mean, look at the size of these. So there you go, it's turned on. I don't know, I want to, I really want to like it. I don't know.
Well, I took it out. I'm out for a run with the DJI Osmo Pocket. <clears throat> Checking out how it, uh, oh, it looks like it's doing some face tracking. Huh, interesting. I'm actually out for a road run, but I decided to just take a little dip off the road, get on some trails. Also, this screen right here is like really tempting to just look at. Oh, it's also ginger moss. Uh, today is Saturday, December like 15th or something. I went through the list that he sent out. None of them really seemed like things that I would be able to find. I'm just out for fun. See if I can get some miles. Oh look, train tracks. This form factor of this camera is amazing. If I can keep it from getting damaged from sweat or the gimbal broken off like in my bag or pocket, this is gonna be an amazing camera. If the picture quality is anything, any decent. Oh, right now I'm filming at 4K, 60 frames a second, uh, so that I can do some slow-mo in post and just to see what the 4K is. I don't ever upload anything in 4K uh, because uh, my Sony cameras, they just, they do better in 1080. Plus the a7 II actually only goes up to 1080. Doesn't even do 4K. When I had the a6500, the quality was way better in 1080 than 4K. Okay, let's go. Johnny, you want a pair of skates. Susie wants a sled. Millie wants a storybook. One she has. I think I'm striking out on this ginger moss thing. It's not going so well right now. I haven't really found anything. I'm getting a good run out of it. There we go. It keeps losing like the level plane. So I keep having to like recenter it. I mean, so far it's working okay. See, I've never uh, shown you guys this, but this is my normal like road running route. I just go through campus. I've never take a camera out. Maybe this, maybe having this Osmo Pocket will encourage me to take the camera out more on these road runs. Or maybe not, this sucks. It's starting to rain. So I'm gonna have to put this away. Because why the rain? Whatever. Okay, bye. Another thing about this campus is that there's always so much construction going on. Like never stops. Oh, it's definitely ready. Okay. Some of the worst conditions for this DJI Osmo Pocket. It's windy, it's raining, and it's freezing cold. If this thing survives this test, I'll be really impressed with it. I figured out the setting I want for this thing. You want it on follow mode. That will keep the horizon level, but allow you to do these like up and down tilts. I had it on both of the other two modes. I didn't really think follow would keep the horizon level, but it is, so that's nice. It only took me seven and a half miles to figure that out. I'm actually liking this mode right now. You can go left and right, up and down, but it keeps the horizon level, which is like what a normal gimbal should do in my opinion. All right, let's go. We can feel the flow underneath our feet. I am listening. We can feel the flow underneath our feet. You are glistening. We can feel the flow underneath our feet. I am listening.
filming while running you almost have to hold it like all the way out to get a decent field of view we'll see what the footage looks like through the rain through the cold anyway i'm gonna see how this footage looks now bye okay so i've had a few days now to edit all the footage and i feel like i know this osmo pocket a lot better now so i'm gonna go through some of the pros and cons and give you kind of like my final verdict on it. Okay, so the number one pro of this camera is its size. It is so small. Um, you hold most of it in your hand, and this is the part that people can see, and most people that you're running by don't even know that you have anything in your hand, or if they do see something, they have no idea what it is, because nothing like this has ever, like, existed before. It's extremely portable, it's lightweight, it's tiny, like I was sliding it in and out of uh, my pocket and I barely even knew it was there. I mean obviously that's what it's marketed for, that's what everyone says when they open it, it's just tiny. The other great thing is the kind of, I would say like advanced recording features. It can do 4K, 60 frames a second. It can do 120 frames per second at 1080p. It's got all the modern kind of settings that you would ever want for filming. Slow-mo looks great. But yeah, that 4K, 60 frames a second, it's a really big deal with this. And the last cool thing is something that I've actually not tried, but I've seen people do it. And it's the panning time-lapse where you can kind of set this up somewhere and you can have it set to start a time lapse over here and end over there. The days are so short right now that when I get home from work, it's like already dark. So I can really only use this on the weekends. <laughs> the winter solstice is in a couple days though, so days are gonna start getting longer soon. Okay, now some things that I don't like about this. Um, obviously for me, Number one, being like a trail runner, someone that likes to uh, film active things, uh, this is not waterproof. And as I showed you earlier in the video, that SD card slot right there is just completely exposed. So the biggest thing I'm worried about is water getting in there. This plug right down here, the USB slot is completely open. I'm just worried about holding on to this because it's so small that you really have to hold the whole thing. And when your hands are sweaty, my GoPro Karma Grip, uh, the handle is big and it gets really sweaty, but it doesn't matter because there's nothing on that part that you're holding on to. This I'm worried about like sweat getting in there, destroying the SD card and ruining footage. I'm worried about it shorting out and ruining the whole camera. Sweat getting in here, drying, and then it being all salty in there and having to clean it out. The gimbal, I'm not too worried about that. I crashed my drone into a lake and that gimbal still works. The other big concern I have about this camera is the field of view. It is a really narrow field of view. I think they said it was equivalent to like a 28 millimeter focal length on a full frame camera, which 28 millimeters, I mean, you really have to kind of hold it at arm's length to get a pretty decent field of view. Because when you're running, it's kind of hard to hold it out here. It's much more comfortable to hold it uh, about 12 to 18 inches away. And with that, you really are just getting like kind of the top of your head, the bottom of your chin. Uh, and it's really easy to clip yourself off so that's another thing that I'm not so hot on with this camera. Along with that, the autofocus is really slow. The one run that I took it on, there was a lot of times where I would have it like on my face and it took two, three seconds to autofocus. I would spin it around, everything was out of focus and it just took a while to track what was going on around it. The other negative thing about this that's also kind of a plus is that it's so lightweight that it makes it actually hard to keep it steady because when you're running, it's so lightweight that you actually 
do bounce a lot and that i don't know if you noticed in the footage but the footage was really bouncy a lot bouncier compared to my gopro when i have the whole karma grip it's heavier and you actually can hold heavier things steadier it's going to take a lot more time to figure out how to use this smoothly even just walking uh, if it's not in slow motion you can definitely tell there's some bounce just when you have a heavier camera like you can just you can glide it through the air a lot better than with this with such a light camera it's really hard to get really smooth movement from it and the other final thing um, that i'm not so hot on this camera being like my main action camera i'm much more afraid of breaking it and so when you're throwing it in your bag or anything like that i just have just a little bit more anxiety about it breaking like with the gopro if i was gonna do something like really stupid i could take it out and have it as just the gopro and i know that thing's like a brick and it's nothing's ever gonna happen to it with this you really have to baby it a little bit more. So that's it for some of my pros and cons. Looking through this lens of being a trail runner, active, endurance sports, that's just kind of how I feel about this. All right, so final verdict. I think I'm gonna keep this, but with a caveat, and I'll explain that in a second. I think this is a really, really great camera. I think for action sports, it's still got a little ways to go. It's close, it's almost there. I think personally, if you can get one camera and you wanna make trail running films, this is not the number one option. Uh, I think it's great and this is, I feel weird saying that I would not get it because it seems like everybody on the internet is saying that this is like the next greatest, best thing that's ever happened to cameras. I was messaging back and forth with uh, another trail runner who does YouTube stuff that I'm positive all of you guys know. Uh, and he just got the Osmo Pocket as well, and I was asking his opinion on it, and he thought it was great. He sounded like he really liked it. This is great for a very specific application, and this is where he and I agreed, because if you have multiple cameras, this should definitely be in your bag. For the very specific needs that someone who's filming trail running, filming themselves, high action, chance for the camera falling, breaking sweat, dirt, mud, whatever, I think the GoPro is probably the number one. This is number two, so if you have the money to get two, get both of them, that's my honest opinion. I'm gonna keep this for now, I think. I'm gonna sell the GoPro Hero 5 that I have because I also just picked this up and I wanna test this out too and really give you guys an honest opinion on this as well. Hero 5, going bye-bye. One thing that really frustrated me, looking back on all the footage from like Leadville and Run Rabbit Run, where I did not want to bring a gimbal, I just had my GoPro on this little like selfie stick. The footage was just so shaky and it was just like, it really frustrated me. A lot of people liked those films, so maybe it didn't really matter that much. This one is gonna be in my running pack when I know it's gonna be long, hot, sweaty days where I know the camera's gonna get beat up. This for days where it's just a little bit different. So that's coming, be on the lookout for that. But for now, that's it. That's all I have to say about this. If you guys have questions, please leave your questions down below. Uh, I know that I probably wasn't able to answer every question that anyone would have. So leave your questions down below. I will answer every single one of them. Let me know if you pick up one of these Osmo Pockets or a GoPro or whatever, what your thoughts are. Please ask me questions. But yeah, that's my take on this brand new gimbal uh, from DJI. It's pretty awesome. Definitely some things that could be better, but it's pretty good. All right, that's it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon. Bye.